Welcome to another program by Dr. Paul Lamb, dedicated to empower people to improve health and wellness. The five element Qigong is easy to learn and very flexible. It will bring you many health benefits and enjoyment, especially if you practice it regularly. Dr. Paul Lam, a family physician and Tai Chi expert, is a world leader in the field of Tai Chi for health improvement. His programs have improved health and wellness for millions of people worldwide. Hello and welcome to Qigong for Health, the five element Qigong. Qigong is a part of Chinese culture dating back thousands of years. Tai Chi is a unique form of Qigong. They both have similarities and special features. Generally, they complement each other well. Many believe Qigong has magical power. Qigong is two words. Qi is the life energy inside a person that circulates throughout the body. Qi moves blood and internal energy to bring the inner strength and health. The stronger and more harmonious is your Qi, the healthier and happier you are. Gong is a method of exercise. So in this context, Qi Gong is an exercise that cultivates Qi. There are numerous forms of Qigong. Most consists of breathing and meditative method. The five element Qigong incorporate meditation, movements, and breathing methods that complement all Tai Chi for Health programs. This means practicing this Qigong will improve your Tai Chi, and practicing Tai Chi will improve your Qigong. The five element Qigong is derived based on the law of nature as observed by the ancient Chinese. It's easy to learn yet powerfully effective to cultivate Qi, thus improve mental and physical health. It is especially beneficial for stress reduction, improving your heart and the lung capacity. Qigong works in many ways. The mindful breathing, the training of postures and movements will enhance qi flow. It will open up more lung space, activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is for healing and relaxation. It also increases the circulation of blood and body flu, thus improve the metabolism. Medical study has shown qigong improve many aspects of health. According to ancient Chinese philosophical understanding of nature, all things in the universe are made up of five elements, earth, metal, water, wood, and fire. These elements have different properties. Mother Earth nurtures all living beings. Metal is sharp and malleable. Water irrigates and gives life to plants and animals. Wood is growth and fire is hot and cleansing. The five elements represent five major organs. They are interrelated and influence each other. Earth is spring. Metal is lung. Water is kidney. Wood is liver, fire is the heart. The five element Qigong promotes the positive relationship of these internal organs to improve the holistic health of the whole person. The goal is to use your mind to direct the Qi. Use the Qi to direct the body and thus combining the body, mind, and qi as one. 
all these theories sound so esoteric. You don't need to know any of those or remember or any of this if you don't wish to. But if you're interested, there are many resources provided more information. Here in this program, all you have to do is learn one lesson at a time, practice it regularly, follow my instructions, and then next lesson, in a short time, you will done the whole set and practice it regularly, soon you will find better health and enjoy the practice. To get the best out of this program, please set aside a regular time daily for Dr. Lamb's class. One hour, half an hour, or even five minutes will work well. Consider asking friends to join. Dr. Lamb will be teaching you as though you're having a lesson with him. Please follow his instructions and practice regularly. Consult your health professional to find out if this program is suitable for you. If you experience any discomfort, stop and check with them. Take your time to slowly and safely build up your strength and fitness before you progress on to the next level. Your health professional can find out more information on the Tai Chi for Health Institute's website or contact Dr. Lamb. At the end of these lessons, Dr. Lamb will perform the entire set you can follow and practice with him. Stay safe. We recommend you watch this before you start the lessons. Please take care to move well within your comfort zone. If you cannot stretch your hands this far, visualize it. Think that you're stretching like I do, but only move to where it's comfortable. And soon, you will be able to move more as you practice more. Using your mind to imagine you doing something like open and close is visualization. Neuroscientist study has shown that visualization activates the part of the brain that controls this movement as well as activate part of the muscles and the blood vessels so that even though you didn't do it, you still have some exercise. And visualization really improves your skill. That's why top athletes use it for their training. So when they use visualization, especially certain part of you, if you cannot go this far, you visualize well within your comfort zone, but think you're moving further and you'll get the benefit through visualization. Welcome to lesson one. We always going to start with a show of mutual respect. So when we start the lesson, I'm going to greet you and please do the same to me. The right hand, make a gentle fist. That means strength, inner strength. The left hand, four fingers together. That means friendship. And the thumb bang indicate humility. When you are hands and palm together, that is a show of mutual respect. It's always nice to start with that and we're going to end our lesson with the same greeting. Qigong is an internal art. It's easy to do but it has many layers of depth. With more practice you have fun discovering all the layers. Please follow my instructions. Allow yourself time to practice regularly for say three months. I'm going to start with working with you through the breathing method. Now breathing is really the center 
of most qigongs. And I'm going to start with the fundamental way to breathe, and then I'll develop further as we go further down the lessons. Number one rule, most importantly, is not to force your breathing. Follow my method gently and within your comfort. Whenever you feel uncomfortable holding your breath or run out of space to breath, all you have to do is just let go and your body will take over and then it, it will actually learn quicker by not trying too hard. So the breathing method it started with understanding the location of Dang Tian. Dang Tian is three finger breath below your belly button. Just somewhere around here is the area that is further inside in your, in your abdomen. Three finger breath inside. And this is the center of the body. It also is understood as the storage house of Qi. So it's important to be aware of this area. And my breathing method is based on traditional authentic Qigong breathing method modified and enhanced through modern medical research to make the breathing method actually easier and more effective in cultivating qi. It's actually very easy. I'd like you to imagine where your Dang Tian is. It's like a little balloon. And when you breathe in, you slowly, slowly, gently, gently feel that balloon and expand it gently. And when you breathe out, gently squeeze this balloon and to make it smaller. And one way to do the squeezing is gently contract the pelvic floor muscles or the muscles around the anus. And do it very gently. Just thinking about it is good enough. So when you breathe in, expand, relax, let your little balloon expand. And when you breathe out, gently, gently contract your pelvic floor muscles, squeeze the balloon a little bit. And if you can, try not to move other parts of the body. For example, try not to move the intercostal muscle. Because when you breathe, Usually, we just breathe with our intercostal muscle. And that takes away 80% of the breathing. So when you open up your intercostal muscle, you open up 80% of the lung space. However, when you use the Dantian breathing, which is a way of breathing with your diaphragm, the diaphragm are two domes below your lung and it moves up and down. And by moving up and down this way, it actually opens up more lung space, like a deeper breathing. And not only the diaphragm breathing method opens up lung space, it also enhances relaxation and improves circulation. And that's been taught in many hospitals for people before their operation, after their operation, before giving birth, to make you stronger and more relaxed. And the Dantian breathing method is derived from part of those research. It also related to making you strong from inside. I will explain that a little bit later, but with the scientific finding, together with authentic Qigong breathing method, I make the Dantian breathing method quite simple and even more effective. Let me repeat it one more time. All you have to do is imagine this balloon expand gently without moving other parts of the body as much as you could. And when they breathe out, gently, gently contract your pelvic floor muscles. And I'll develop this breathing method 
a little later as we go on with lessons. The Chinese word Jing means quiet. It's a key to Qigong. Here it means mental quiet or being mindful. Being mindful meaning that you are being here at the present. No criticism, no judgment. Just being aware of where you are, that's really important. Our mind do wander off sometimes on other things. So that's quite okay, that's normal. Many people do that. All you have to do when you find yourself wandering off to something else, don't worry, don't blame yourself, don't feel bad. Just use the Dantian breathing method to bring you back to the presence, to where you are. And that would really be good for your mind, your body, and your Qigong. The good thing about this Qigong is you don't move much, and also it can be done any way, anywhere. You can do that lying down, or you can do it in a chair. It's important though to find a chair that's steady, that's safe for you to sit in. And if you can, sit forward so you're not leaning back. Keep your body upright and uh, make sure the chair is comfortable, stable. And then you will do the Qigong as I do it, as much as you can, whatever that you're not doing sitting compared to standing, you visualize whatever I am showing you in standing. We're going to do three warm-up exercises. The first one, starting with you standing upright, roughly your foot parallel to each other, roughly shoulder width apart. And of course, if you're more comfortable sitting down, you can do that as well. Just visualize it standing up. And I'd like you to think you're standing tall, but not tense. Then you gently, slowly, slowly bring your hands up slowly. And when it's reach about shoulder height, turn your palm towards you and then bring your hands closer to you at the same time gently gently push your chin back then turn and push your hands forward gently and slowly and as your hands goes down slowly slowly bend your neck and we're going to do everything three times so slowly slowly up Turn palm, chin back, forward, and bend. And one more time. The second warm-up starts the same way. Your hands come in front as though you're carrying a large beach ball in front of you. Relax your hands, bring it away from your chest, and then you bring the bottom hand up as though the ceiling is falling down. We're going to hold it up and the other hand gently push down and make sure your elbows are slightly bent. In Qigong, we never lock our joints. Bring your hands back to carry that beach ball and bend your knees just a little where you're comfortable. And then we change the other hands. So this hand pushing up the ceiling, the other one gently push down and come back carrying the ball again. And as you 
stretch. I like you to imagine your spine are gently stretch. And come back, change the other side. It doesn't matter which side it go first. And we do one more time each side. And the next, we're going to exercise the knee. So we're going to start again standing upright, but bring your heel in a tiny little bit. Make both your fists really gentle and soft next to your hip and below your hip. Then shift your weight to one side, so to your right side, and take a little step with your left foot. Touch down with your heel first, bring your foot down, and gently, gently punch forward with the other hand. Come back. Back to where we started. Change side. Step on the heel. Just a small step. Well within your comfort zone. And come back. And we're going to do two more times each side. Gentle stretch and come back. Step. And come back. Make sure you don't overdo it. Just shift your weight forward gently and come back. Keeping yourself in good balance, being aware of touching down, slowly, slowly shift weight. That's our warm up exercises. Well done. In each of the five lessons, I will show you one element of the five element qigong. The first element is earth. We always go back to Mother Earth and I'll show you how to connect to each other. And it's okay too for you to just practice one, one of the elements that you like when you don't have a lot of time. Uh, but it's nice to do the whole thing. So it's very nice for you to stay with me for all five lessons. So to start your Qigong is you done your warm up, you feel comfortable and you standing foot together. However, if you find this is not comfortable, you want to stand a little further, that's totally okay. So before you start, it's nice to just think of your posture. Make sure your body is upright, but not tense. Then, cleanse your mind. Be at the presence. And when you're ready, shift weight and separate your feet to roughly shoulder width apart, roughly parallel to each other. And then take a gentle breathing. Remember, whenever you get uncomfortable, just forget breathing. Let your body breathe naturally. So when you started, follow me again from separate your feet. And then slowly, slowly, gently, gently lift your hands up. Breathing in slowly and smoothly. Let's do that again. Separate your feet. Breathing in, bring your hands up to roughly shoulder width and shoulder heights. 
and to, when you feel you can do this comfortably, then we move to the next move, which is bringing your hands down so that both your palms are facing the downtown. And at the same time, you gently, gently bend your knees and just bend your hip a little bit so that your body is still upright. Let's do that again. Change your mind, but standing upright, but not tense. And separate your feet. Bring your hands up slowly, smoothly, up to shoulder width, shoulder high, and bring your hands down gently, and bend your knees gently so that both of your palms are facing your dantian. And when you feel comfortable, then you can do the breathing exercise. Breathing in gently, breathing out, contract your pelvic floor muscles gently. And it's really good to do everything three times or in multiple of three. So let's do one more time, breathing in and breathing out. And if you can't see the difference in me, because it is very subtle and you don't have to force it. And one more time, breathing in, breathing out. And of course, if you feel bending your knees are just a little tired or uncomfortable, you can do this as you breathe in, you can slowly, slowly stand up. And if you breathe out, gently, gently bend. And again, we can do that three times. Slowly, slowly stand up, breathing in, and gently, gently. And the third time. And then when you feel you done enough multiple three, bring your hands back, and then pressing down gently, as though there's a gentle resistance. And then come back. Let's do that one more time. Check your posture, cleanse your mind, and shift weight. Lift the left foot up, separate your feet, and breathing gently, bring your hands up smoothly. And pressing down, bend your knees and your hips. Palm face the dantian. And do the dantian breathing. Breathing in, expand. Breathing out, contract your pelvic floor muscle. When you did three, or multiple three, you bring your hands up and slowly, slowly pressing down. So when you start Qigong too, it's, it's good to have your mouth closed but not tight. So the lips touch each other. and if you're comfortable to do that, bring your tongue to touch the roof of the mouth. The tip of the tongue and the roof of the mouth have an acupuncture point that when you touch it helps the qi to circulate within your body. However, if you have a blocked nose for whatever reason and you're not able to breathe through your nose, 
it's totally okay to open your mouth and breathe. It's very important to allow nature to take place to make yourself comfortable when you do Qigong. Now, let's do it one more time. Cleanse your mind and touch the upper palate. Close your mouth but not tight. Separate your feet. So let's do cooling down exercises. Start with gently punch or touch your thigh. Lift your foot up only what's to what's comfortable to you. And then you do about three times. And the next, we're going to breathe in, tense your body a little bit, Crunch your fist gently. Or alternatively, if you feel uncomfortable to crunch your fist, you can just gently stretch your fingers. So we do that three times too. Crunch your fist. Let go, breathe out, relax. Breathing in. Let go, relax, and third time. And the last cooling down exercise is slight warm-up exercises. Breathing in, gently bring your hands down, gently bend to what's comfortable to you. In, out. And the third time. So you've done all this work in cultivating qi. It's a good idea to use it to massage your body, bring more qi back to yourself. And we're going to start with hands over the dang tian, and you can touch yourself. If you're not comfortable to touch yourself or prefer not to, you can just do it, visualize your touching and up along your chest, over your face and across and then down and then you go to the back down and 
along your thigh and bend to what's comfortable to you. Then come back. Up. Again, bend to what's comfortable to you. Make sure your body is upright and not overstrain yourself. And we're going to do it three times. So this is the third time. Have a little shake. So this movement represents Earth, Mother Earth, everything go back to Earth and I'll show you how to do that. But uh, Earth also represents the spring. The spring in the Chinese traditional medical things is different from modern Western medicine. It's much more involved. The spring begin from the feet, coming along your legs towards internal organs and up to the chin. And so by bending your knees, you are activating the meridian and giving more chi energy. Especially when you bend down, I'd like you to be aware or bending in such a way that your knee is aligned with your toes. Another way to think is when you bend down, you try to make an arch in your hip. So by making an arch in your feet, you actually open up the hip joint. In a way, if you find it hard to do, just visualize you have a bit more weight on the outer edge of your feet. And that way, you make your crutch more like an arch. And that make it stronger, that also allow the chi to flow better. This is what we call song your lower limb joints. Song means, in Chinese word, the song in Qigong sense means open up the joints and also a relaxed, gentle way. And by shoning the joints in the lower limb, you let the qi flow better and grow the qi. And I will talk to you about how to song the upper limb later. At the moment, it's important to just keep your body upright as you bend your body still upright, not leaning forward or backwards. And this would not just grow your chi, it also give you lower leg strength and make you stronger in balance and make you stronger in your lower legs.